Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to talk about the responsibility that we as models have to speak up if we are uncomfortable in any way. Now, if somebody is doing something that is making us uncomfortable, we absolutely need to speak up about it and remove ourselves from that situation. If they don't stop or have an issue with it being brought up, that is a red flag and the shoot should be ended. This often refers to issues such as the photographer touching the model. Even if this is just a friendly let's adjust that strap or fix the hair, if you are genuinely upset by a photographer assuming that they can touch you without asking, you need to speak up about that, voice that issue, and hold those boundaries. This can apply to a wide variety of things as well. One thing that I would particularly like to speak on is if you are injured during the course of a shoot, you need to be honest about the extent of that injury. For myself, my first ever bad shoot experience happened several years ago. I was working with a local artist in an outdoor location and he wanted to put up a backdrop, a swath of material that he wanted behind me. So we found a very large boulder and used two fist-sized rocks to hold the material up on the top of that boulder so that it hung down the side and I posed in front of it. Once we were done, I carefully picked up one of the fist-sized rocks and turned to place it on the ground and he pulled on the material causing the other rock to fall and slam into the back of my ankle. I was in excruciating pain. I honestly can't recollect if I cried at the time or not. It was enough pain that had I not been at a shoot, I know I certainly would have cried. I may have for a brief time. It was excruciating. He asked several times if I was okay and I said that I was. I was in pain, but I'd be okay. I genuinely thought I was. Finally, I was able to stand up and we went to hobble, or well, we went to walk to a different location, me hobbling behind. Moving to that different location required that we go through a stream we had passed over on our way to where we were at the time. Because I suffered such a bad injury, my foot was numb, and when I tried to cross the stream, I slipped and fell and injured my tailbone and my ankle further. I got up, followed the photographer, and we went on to the next location. Because I'd already said that I was okay to continue, I felt too embarrassed to tell him that the further injuries I'd received had aggravated the pain to the point that I wanted to be done. This was a trade shoot. I wasn't being paid. Even if I was, it would have been better to suck it up and ask to finish the shoot and just be paid for the amount of time I'd posed for already than to continue and give subpar work because I was in too much pain to perform. But I did suck it up. I tried to pose, and as I posed, I became very resentful. I was hugely angry at the photographer for causing the injury in the first place, and for not realizing that I was in so much pain that he should have offered to take me home. Now this was unfair of me. While it's definitely good for a photographer to be able to pick up on it when a, when a model is uncomfortable and needs a change, it is our responsibility to be vocal about it. They are not mind readers. I needed to say that I was in too bad of pain and I needed to end the shoot. And I didn't and I resented that photographer for years I went home and I sobbed because I'd never had a bad shoot experience before and I didn't know how to handle it. I wish I had taken the lesson to heart, but it took me years to really realize 
why everything went so wrong. I needed to speak up about the fact that my injury was worse than I was letting it appear. How was he supposed to know the pain I was in if I kept insisting that I was fine and didn't need to go home? It was not his job to insist that we stop when I was insisting that we continue. It was his job to listen to what I was saying, and it was my job to be truthful about it. This applies in many areas. If the place you are posing is too cold, speak up. Ask if there's a way that it can be warmed. If you're outdoors, say that you need a short break to warm up. If you're too hot, ask for fans to be turned on. If you need a short rest for a bathroom break or food or water, speak up about it. Photographers are not mind readers. So your responsibility to speak up and communicate your needs applies to far more than just stating your boundaries. That's an incredibly important topic. You need to state your boundaries. You need to speak up if your boundaries are being violated. But you also have a responsibility to speak up if you are uncomfortable in any way, if you need any accommodation. Do not let yourself go hungry. Do not let yourself go thirsty and let the images suffer because of it. Take that two minute break to get a drink of water. Don't let your poses turn into an artistic version of the potty dance because you're too embarrassed to tell the photographer that you need to use the restroom. Speak up. Ask for a quick restroom break. Go use the restroom. It's your responsibility to make sure that your needs are met. Have you had a situation like the one I described, either as a photographer or as a model? I'd like to hear about it. Please share in the comments. I'd like to know I'm not the only one who's made this mistake. Do you have an opinion on when a model should speak up or stay silent about something that's causing her discomfort? Please comment below. As always, if you have any questions, have a topic request or need to talk, I'm all ears. Please subscribe if this has been helpful. I'm posting daily videos throughout February and weekly after that. See you next video.